Good morning, Higher Hope. This is uh, Friday, May 29th. Uh, we're almost done with uh, May and heading into um, June. And I uh, just wanted to walk through scripture and uh, kind of share some thoughts. But I wanted to fast forward a little bit um, in the view of what's happening in our culture and our, in our society um, with the race uh, issues and also uh, George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and, and just some of the, those issues and why um, it is so heartbreaking to see uh, these things happen and, and the injustice in, in it and um, just um, why, why there's something that stirs in us in these moments um, or hopefully it stirs in us in these moments uh, of how God created us and, it, and it's gonna be I'm gonna fast forward to uh, almost the end of Genesis 1 and this is um, the reason why our heart breaks for injustice our, our heart breaks all over the place there's there's all sorts of things that uh, frustrate us um, you know, I was watching a movie about uh, how innocent people um, were uh, convicted of, of a crime and sent to prison. That's, that's unjust. Um, you know, to see someone in, um, in pain and in struggling of, of a loss of a loved one, that feels um, there's, there's something that's going on inside of us that says this is not the way it's supposed to be. Um, there's all sorts of injustice all around us. And, and the reason why um, justice is such a big deal, I think it goes back to Genesis 1.26, and, and I'll... I will say this is our worldview. Um, there's a lot of other worldviews, um, and I don't know if they answer the question of why there is so much in us that stirs in the, in the midst of um, these injustices. Uh, it's Genesis 126, it says this, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Um, let, us have, let, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and all the earth, over every creeping thing upon the earth and the, the, one of the key phrases in there let us make man in our image um, the image of God th that there is something in mankind in all every one of us that carries the image of God that our value is not because we're neurons firing our value is not because we're top of the food scale our, our value is not because we're stronger than somebody else our value comes because in the in the creation account when God made us he made us in his image and that image means that we're valuable to him and to each other and that that when we are um, saying something against somebody else or we see something happening against somebody else we are saying that or doing that or watching that against the image of God. it's actually in some ways happening against god like god has put life and beauty and design and um, this this importance to mankind and in, in, in every single one of us there is the image of God in some aspect. Now, in all of us, it's broken. There, there's, there's things going wrong in it. And so, um, in, the, in the George Floyd incident, you're, you're watching it, and why your heart may stir in it, and I hope it does, is because George has, has the image of God. And, and there's, no, there's no rationalization. There's no, no um, when, when someone loses their life, our heart should break. But so, the other hard part of that is, that there is, there is an image of God in the police officers that are there, and the people that are watching, and, and the people who are um, demonstrating right now, they all have the image of God. And, and our heart wants justice, but we also need to see each of those in, in that lens of, yes, there's a brokenness in that image of God. There's a, there's a struggle um, in some of the things that we see, and yet let, let's, let's see each person in that demonstration of of who God made them to be, so that that's why we value life. Um, that's why we value um, dignity. That's why we value um, the not bullying. That's why we 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 want people to grow up to be people of um, just just beauty and amazement. And and any time that you put someone down, you're putting down the image of God. And so that's what stirs in us. That's what why we want justice a lot of times. Um, and I, and I hope it does stir. I hope our hope our heart breaks. Um, at every funeral, my heart breaks. At every overdose, my heart breaks. At, at, at every time that I see someone lose a child, my heart breaks because each of those situations has the image of God in it, and and it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like that's what, that's what we're designed for. No, it's not. Sin has destroyed. And broken what God designed to be good and when when that brokenness is comes to light our heart turns and, and I hope our heart never turns away from justice 
I, I, harp, I hope our heart softens towards it. I hope our heart softens towards the image of God. I hope our, our souls want, want to see through that lens of people that, that God and God in the story of scripture has, has come to restore that image in its fullness to each of us, the, the glory. In fact, we are, we are made to become like Jesus. And so, you know, these are just rambling thoughts on um, this, this, this idea of justice. But, uh, you know, I think there's an importance to the image of God in us. And, I, and again, going back to it, I don't know if there is a better explanation of why we have such a, um, a response to um, injustice um, than that verse right there. So I hope that helps you stir a little bit, um, think a little bit, and, um, and pray through uh, this whole idea of the image of God.